What's up, fam? This is your most favorite person in the whole wide world, and we're about to get back to some cooking. Um, we got two tomatoes here, right? And we're just kind of cutting and splicing and just cutting in a cross. And then we're going to actually go under and do some dicing right here and dice those bad boys, those tomatoes. We got two tomatoes, like I said. We got three lemons, and we got six garlic pods. We got a whole bunch of olive oil, and we got two tablespoons of kosher salt. So just kind of remember that, and some dill, some wild dill herbs, okay? So I'm just kind of go, I'm going to go right here and just kind of cut what I missed um, and get back to work as far as cutting these tomatoes up. Um, this is going to be off the chain, okay? Um, when I first made this salad, um, oh, let's not forget, let's not forget my, um, my noodles right here, all right? So I put those on first with oil and water. And I just boiled them down, like very simple. Just make sure that they're completely, thoroughly cooked all the way through. Um, I think I had those on for about 30 minutes. But um, yeah, getting back to these tomatoes, I just kind of had to go and just make sure that I finished up, you know, dicing. I, you don't want to make them too small. You want to make sure that they're prevalent within this dish right here. So let's get to um, straining and, you know, stripping and squeezing all the juice out of these lemons right here right okay so we got as i said six halves which makes three holes and we're just squeezing at this point and um just gonna add the citrus now you can use vinegar in this i wouldn't use more than half a cup of vinegar but vinegar is fermented this is way healthier than vinegar um you know and I got my six garlic uh, pods right there. And we're just going to put these on the blender and blend them. I'm going to take two tablespoons of kosher salt. Uh, and right now, we're just going to go ahead and start doing some prep work as far as our uh, avocados is concerned. We're going to cut those bad boys and um, kind of slice them. And eventually, uh, I will go back and make little smaller cubes because we want everything to be prevalent within the salad. We don't want to miss any of the taste, so we don't want everything to get, like, mixed up, like, too small. You know, we want to have a larger size uh, pieces of this avocado so that when you bite into it, you could taste it. And then we're going to cut these in half, and then we're going to go and cut them back in fourths, right? And then we're just going to kind of go across and make these little triangular, triangular <laughs> spaces, right? So I'm just holding both at one time, not because I'm just so good at this, not because I'm the dopest, because I'm actually being lazy and I just want to get done with this part fast. This is a boring part for me, right? So let's get back to the fun and let's blend this all up. So we got, you know, our garlic in there. We got our um, juice and everything. And now we're going to start putting the, the noodles in and you can use whatever type of noodles you want you don't have to use that um that's my uh dill and you know that dry dill weed is going to really bring the flavor out that's my um my uh cucumber okay i forgot to mention what they were i was just talking about i'm like you just automatically knew but you know based on assessment sometimes people don't know i mean who knows Okay, so it looks done. Everything looks together. It looks like it's like ready to go. And at this point, I'm just, you know, pour in our liquid base right there. And we're going to mix again. We're just mixing and blending. Remember, you know, our little old song from back in the day, mix and blend, mix and blend, mix and blend, right? Okay, so we're just mixing and blending. <laughs> <laughs> okay and we're going to move forward so we're putting um our avocado on the top i made a wonderful salad this morning i mean very mediterranean style flavor and just kicking i mean just kicking and um i made some chicken for everybody else 
and the chicken was amazing. I didn't do a video on it because I know I've made like a thousand chicken videos, right? I mean, how many times can you cook chicken before you just start getting bored with all those videos? But anyway, I needed some extra citrus, and so I'm just like um, going to pour this citrus over these avocados so that they don't uh, begin to oxidate. Um, you know, when the oxidation kicks in, they start turning brown, right? So who wants like ugly brown looking avocados? It's like, you know, no, I'm not going to eat that. But um, there will be no oxidation because we are preserving them with the lemon juice, my folks. This is one of the hacks that we're using in this video today. And uh, don't forget to stay on the lookout for my album because I got some dope music coming okay, out. Okay, you guys, right? this is like 43 minutes later. And as you see, these avocados are still green. They're not um, brown. And even if they had like little brown spots, they're not too bad. Like that one kind of stayed a little bit. But for the most part, those little parts right there kind of stay. But next time I'll just soak them. You know, um, it'll come out better if I soak them. So, you know, it is what it is. Soak your avocados in lemon and they will not go brown. No oxidation, folks. No oxidation. Now what I did is, is I add, I added one and a half tablespoons more of kosher salt. And I went in and I added probably like a half a cup more of, well not even a half a cup, but like a quarter of a cup more oil, olive oil. Olive oil is like really safe if you get the right kind. Always get your olive oil in a bottle. Don't get anything in plastic. You want to know that it works. And uh, that's it. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm, I'm going to do another taste test because it is what it is, right? I gotta taste this again because it was it wasn't hitting like I thought it was gonna hit. It wasn't my normal, you know. All right, my peoples, I had to come in and just end it right there because um when I tried it out, I'm gonna tell you something. It was delicious, and the amount of incessant smacking that was going on in this video is ridiculous. I have been on a fast, and so when I broke my fast and started to eat, I didn't know that I would smack. But I'm not a smacker and I'm not a mouth breather either. Sometimes I'll have my mouth open and it looks like I'm breathing through my mouth, but I'm not. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to come back and watch again and subscribe. We got dope music coming, some dope tracks. I mean, it's going to be amazing, people. Get ready, get ready, get ready to get some dope tracks, right? You're going to love it. All of the inspirational music, all of the dope hip-hop that's coming on this album, you're going to be surprised. I'm in the kitchen cooking up dishes, making videos. Yes, I'm on a mission. A single man with family and children, celibate for 10 long years to make millions. The dopest nigga is back up in the building, producing heat beats for these LA streets. It's a wonder why they secretly hate on me. Cause I rap, mix tracks, and make these beats. I play five instruments into this like I'm infamous. This is just a gift. God said I was giving it. Used to brag rap to there's no relent. I started to bag rap, but now I repent. I buy fruity patootie. Got the big booty. We met at the salon called for Satan by the booty. She's living cool, but I can do better. How big does it get? It's beyond measure. She acting like a groupie fruity looking for clout she got the whole whale tail i should give her a spout got everybody asking what that booty's about